Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to wire in a hardwired motion detector into your SafeWatch Pro 3000 or your, your ADT panel. Um, these are a Demco panels. It could be a, a Demco 10, 15, 20, um, 45, 50. They all program the same and they all wire into the main control panel up here the same. I'll, I'm going to shift the camera up here after to show you how to wire it into the control panel. Um, I'm just going to explain how to wire it into the motion detector, wire it into the main control panel, and program it into the um, the, uh, the panel itself, how to program it. Um, I'm not going to show you how to get into program. I'm not going to show you any of that. I've got other videos out there on how to do it and how to um, get your installer code and everything else if you don't know what it is. I have videos out there. Um, I'm not going to show you how to run the wire or how to snake it up through walls or anything like that. I'm primarily going to focus on just taking the wire, wire it into the motion detector, wire it into the main control panel, and then program it. Um, there are other videos out there. I have other videos out there on showing you how to program, how to get into program, um, how to uh, get your installer code out of this, how to change codes. I've got all kinds of videos on this. All right, so this, again, this is primarily just for wiring in the motion detector. So let's get right to it. This is a blue line, Bosch blue line motion detector. It's a hard wire motion detector. And what I want to do is I'm going to run you guys way out of focus and then I'm going to focus right on this terminal strip. Let's see. Now, what we're going to be doing is, if I can hold it steady enough, all right, you see, <laughs> let me get this into, where's it, where's it at? Yeah. So you got these four wires here. You got red, black, yellow, and blue. Okay, and I've already got them stripped back. And on this motion, man, I, on the motion detector, if you're looking at that, the negative is going to be black. The positive is going to be red. Come on, stay focused. And when it says NC, NC, that can be where your yellow and blue go. It doesn't matter where the yellow or where the blue goes. As long as your yellow and blue goes um, into the terminal, marked NC, which is normally closed. The TT, don't worry about that. That's tamper. Uh, I'm not going to get into that in, on this video. And most generally, if you're just a homeowner, you will never use the TT. It's really ridiculous to even wire it in. I've, I've seen guys wire it in on on TTs on a residential, you know, they're professional um, installers, and it causes nothing but headaches for the homeowner. So we're just focusing on the negative positive and the NC NC. All right. So let me bring this back down here, and I'm going to back out, refocus you guys. All right. So. You're going to have to get yourself a little tiny screwdriver to, you know, get into the um, terminal strip on your motion detector. So I'm going to open my wire up here. Get this open. I had it all coiled up. All right. So I got my four wires. I'm going to come in through the back of the... Uh, motion detector. And again, I'm going to take the black wire, okay, and that goes into the negative. I'm going to get a close and personal of this again after I get it wired. You're going to take the red, and that goes into the positive or the plus sign. I'm just going to randomly grab one of my other ones. Oh, I got to strip this back. It broke off. All right. So I'm randomly going to take a yellow or blue, and that goes into NC. And I'm going to take the blue and put that under the other NC. Now, there are other motion detectors out there on this terminal strip. It'll say uh, negative, positive. It'll say COM, C-O-M. And then it'll say NC. 
Though that type of motion detector, you want to put your one of your wires, you know, your loop wires, either the yellow or blue, under one under the COM and one under the NC. Okay, that just means common and normally closed. All right, so let me just uh, pull these wires back, and I'm going to get close and personal again, and I'm going to show you how I got this wired. Let me just focus. There we go. I got the black under the negative, red under the positive, and one of the wires under NC and the other wire under NC. Okay? Now, let's go back. I'm going to refocus you guys. Then you take your motion detector. Now, on this, the blue line here, um, there's a little edge card and it goes up underneath here. All right? And you just bring this in a little bit lower and then you just click it up. All right. Now your motion detector is done and wired. So put that off to the side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus you guys in on how to wire it into the main control panel. All right. Let me focus. looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to wire mine in just for simplicity into zone one. You can wire it into any one of these zones, okay? Um, and then all you do is just, you, know, you, you got a resistor right here. Just take the resistor off and then put the yellow and blue back on to one of these two where you took the resistor off. So let me take my resistor off. Then you take the resistor. I gotta get some more wire on here. Hang on, guys. I haven't got enough wire to open this up. There we go. And then I'm gonna strip it back. Okay. So now that resistor you just took off, you're gonna put that back on. Uh oh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. You're going to take that resistor that you just took off, okay, and you're going to put it onto either the yellow wire or the blue wire, okay? Let me see if I can get that into frame here. Oh, man, this is bad. <laughs> All right, so let me just get you up and personal again. And I want to focus. That ain't gonna work. But anyways, twist one end of the um, resistor onto either the yellow or blue. And put that under one of the zone terminals, which my zone one is zone uh, eight and nine. I'm gonna wire this up and then I'm gonna get out of the way so see if you guys can see what I did. All right. Let me just see if I can, see I really can't focus that in too much. Let me see if that'll work. All right, see right there where I took the, the blue wire and I put, and I, and I wound it around one leg of the resistor and the other leg of the resistor goes on to terminal nine. And then the yellow wire goes on to terminal eight. That is my zone one. Okay, let me refocus again. Now, the motion detector needs uh, power. So that's where the red and black comes into to play. So if you look on here, terminal five is positive. So you put the motion detector under terminal five. That's all right. That's just the keypad lost power for a second. And then you put the black under terminal four for the negative. And my little wire fell off of the terminal here. I gotta put that back under there. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry, I'm in your way here. 
Okay. So again, you uh, your red and black for the motion detector goes under um, terminals four for negative, five for positive. Then you take one leg of the what I call the loop. The yellow goes under terminal eight, and then you take a resistor, okay, off the zone, and you put one leg of it on the blue wire and the other leg of the resistor up onto terminal nine. Okay, that's what you call a series circuit. So it leaves terminal nine, goes through the resistor and down onto the blue wire. And then this is the common. The yellow goes up into terminal eight. That is how you wire the motion detector into the main control panel. And then this, this motion can go into any one of your open zones. So if you got something on one, move to two, so on and so forth. All right, and just follow the pattern all the way down. Just wherever you take the resistor off, that's where your wires go back on. All right, but when you put the wires back on, the resistor goes in series with one leg of whatever you're trying to tie in. All right, now let's back out, and now we're going to go into program. All right, I just want to show you the motion detector. It's uh, powered up, and you'll have a nice. Um, blue light on it. So if I hold still, goes out, put my hand in front of it, and it caught the motion. All right, so let's put that down to the side and let's focus in on the keypad to do some programming. Get this right. Come on, focus, baby. All right, there we go, we're focused in. Now, let's go into program. Uh, four, three, two, one, eight, zero, zero. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into um, star 56. Star 56. All right. Oops, didn't even get me in the program. There we go. Sorry, my, my installer code was 6321. All right, so. The first thing you want to do is go into star 56 once you get into program. Set to confirm, just say no, so zero. Uh, enter the zone number. We're, we, we use zero one, that's the, that's the zone we're using, so just hit star. Um, this just tells you what's in there right now, just go buy it. Um, enter the zone type, which is an 04, which is an interior follower. That's what you want for motion detector. Star. Petition one, leave that alone. This is the report code, leave that alone. Response time, leave that alone. This just gives you an overview of how you program the zone, which is zone one. It's a zone type 04. It's on partition one. The report, report code is 10, and the end of line is three, meaning that it's a hardwire end of line uh, resistor. Um, program alpha, just say no. I'm not going to go into that. And then once it says enter zone number again, just hit zero, zero. And then star nine, nine to get out. That's it. The motion detector is now programmed into the system. So now let's test it. Let me back out here. And I'm going to take the motion detector. And I'm going to point it away from me. So it doesn't see me. All right. So now let's arm the system. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Away. Arm away. Exit now. So now let's just wait for the time to go by and then we'll trip it. I think I might have to set for a minute, guys, so hang in there. So now this is programmed as a interior follower, meaning that um, if you have it near a delay door where you enter the home and the motion detector is going to see you before you get over to the keypad to shut it off, this will honor a delay door opening. But if, say, an intruder breaks through a window and doesn't open a delay door, you know, open and close, it should go off 
instantly. Armed away. All right, so now let me just trip it. Alarm zone. See that? Alarm. It went off instantly because it did not it did not see Let me shut this off. See, the, the way that an interior follower works is if if the interior follower device, which is the motion detector, did not see a delayed door open, it'll immediately go into alarm. So if somebody, you know, breaks in through a window and trips the motion, it'll go off instantly. But if you, yourself, come in a delay door, get over to the keypad and shut it off, it will honor you. That's how an interior follower works. All right, guys, that is how you program a hardwire motion detector into a SafeWatch Pro 3000 ADT system, Vista 10, Vista 20, Vista 15, and a Demco system. That is how you wire in and program a motion detector. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the, ring the bell, buy me a coffee. I have no idea how you can buy me a coffee, but, uh, just, you know, Give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.